So I started with the building trade, specifically with the Laborers International Union of North America in November of 1988. And I was employed in various capacities with them, secretary, treasurer, recording secretary, business agent, and then eventually business manager. From there, I actually moved to the province of Newfoundland and Labrador to run an employers association on the Hebron Project oil platform build. And I was with the Hebron Project for about a year and a half, and I was offered a position with the Newfoundland Building Trades as the executive director. So I took that position, and then the deputy director job came up in Ottawa, which I applied for, and I was successful in obtaining that position. And so I moved into that role in Ottawa, and then after that, just actually recently in March, um, became the director of Canada's Building Trades Unions. I want Canada's building trades unions to be the voice of organized, skilled labor in Canada, and I think that our members deserve that. I want to refocus um, our efforts and our highlight on our members. Um, that's my priority. That's priority number one, our membership. And I think that that's something that uh, is going to be taking up a lot of my time. I want to reinstitute uh, communication, engagement with them, and I want them to be the focus and the priority. Without them, we wouldn't be here, so we need to refocus, I think, on the boots on the ground membership. I would say that the biggest challenge is going to be the fact that we're losing about 250,000 skilled tradespeople over the next 10 to 12 years. So obviously recruitment is a big issue for us. Also tapping into resources from underrepresented groups, so women in trades, youth, new Canadians, indigenous populations as well. That's going to be the priority and that's going to be the challenge going forward. My vision, as I said earlier, I want to make sure that um, people understand that we are the voice of the skilled trades in Canada. We want to be a united voice and we want people to start conferring with us with respect to issues that are ma that matter to Canadians, working Canadians. If it weren't for the unionized trades, we wouldn't get this, com this country built. And I think that that's what people need to understand. We take it for granted sometimes that we have these structures around us and we don't even realize perhaps or even think about the fact that somebody, it took someone's skills to build them. And I think that's something that I want to really focus on as well is what we actually contribute to our country.